Smart people seem to agree that the way to reverse America's exploding health care costs is to get a handle on obesity and chronic conditions. It's about prevention, about keeping people from getting sick in the first place, and helping chronically ill people help themselves a little bit more. Doctors and nurses are trying. They tell us to eat right and get more exercise. But are we actually doing it? The rates of obesity and other costly preventable diseases say no. The key is to get people to change their behavior and maintain that change. But when was the last time you just changed your behavior? People don't really do that without great information and lots of hands-on leadership and support. So for a minute, let's imagine, what if qualified behavior change support were accessible in all sorts of places? Places where people actually spend their time, like at work, healthcare facilities, or supermarkets, churches, or parks. And imagine this support were provided not by doctors and nurses who are already overextended, but other healthcare professionals who work alongside doctors. Perhaps the support is provided by people who we don't really think of as health professionals today, but they know the science and techniques and how to help people take charge of their health. Best of all, imagine that support were really affordable, even covered by health insurance. If such support were everywhere, affordable and accessible, preventable disease might start to be, well, prevented. People who are chronically sick would start to fare better and healthcare costs would go down. So who could provide the support? The kinds of great people that the American Council on Exercise educates, certifies, and represents. They are health coaches, fitness professionals, and related wellness experts. They are in our communities today and a force qualified and available to be deployed. What's needed is for the credentials of our professionals to be ironclad verifiable, for the healthcare system to adjust ever so slightly so our professionals can contribute and for everyone to see this as a grand opportunity to cut costs while improving health outcomes. The future of healthcare is prevention and wellness intervention, and the future of fitness is helping vastly more people to live their most fit lives. We see it. Join us.